Hi students, in this video we're going to look at how to graph straight lines using the gradient intercept form. Alright, so the learning goals for this video. By the end of this video you should be able to determine whether or not a point is on a line and also sketch a straight line using the gradient intercept method. So a couple of things to recall. So first of all, there are two forms of a straight line. The first one is the gradient form, y equals mx plus c, m is the gradient, and c is the y-intercept. And there's also a standard form, where a, b, and d are all um, integers. Now, the other thing to recall is for gradient, the gradient of a line is calculated using the formula rise over run. So if you remember, we've got a line here. Um, the number of squares we go across this way is our run. The number of squares we go up is called our rise. And how we work out our gradient is our rise over our run. Uh, you might also hear it talked about uh, the change in the y coordinate is the rise and the change in the x coordinate being the run. All right, so our first uh, task is to determine whether or not there's a point on a straight line. Now, how we do that is we just substitute the point into the, equa into the equation and see if it's true. If it's true, then the point is on the line. If we substitute the point in and it's not true, then the point is not on the line. So a couple of examples, determine whether, whether the point three, negative one is on the following lines. Well, we'll just sub in x equals three and y equals negative one. So subbing those in, you've got negative one equals two times three minus seven. Two times three is six minus seven is negative one. That's true, so therefore, yes, uh, three negative one is on the line. It's on the line. And doing the same for our other equation, we're just going to sub in the same values. Three times three minus four times negative one. Three times three is nine, plus, because you've got a negative times a negative, so it'll be positive four. 13 does not equal 15, so therefore for this line, no, 3 negative 1 is not on that second line because the equation is not true. All right, so when it comes to sketching using the gradient intercept form of a line, um, there are four main steps to follow. We're looking at um, First of all, if it isn't already, rearrange the equation so that y is the subject. That just means rearrange it so you've got y equals something. And then the rest of your equation will be mx plus c. So rearrange so y is the subject, it's on its own. Plot the y-intercept of the graph. So remember this c value is our y-intercept. So we can plot that on our graph straight away. Using the gradient, plot the second point. So, um, and then after that, draw a line between those two points. All right, so let's do an example. So let's sketch the line on y equals 3x minus 6. So first of all, we can see our y-intercept is negative 6, looking at our equation there. So we'll plot negative 6 on our graph right here. Now, looking at our gradient, our gradient m is 3. Now, when we think about our gradient, that tells us if we move one square across in our x direction, the gradient tells us how far upwards or downwards we move for every one square, for every one horizontal unit we move. So if our gradient is 3, for every one square we go across, we're going to go three squares up. One, two, and three. There's our second dot. And with those two dots, I'll just put cross there instead, that'll work better. With those two dots, we can draw our line. And there's the equation, of, there's the graph of our line, y equals three x minus six. So plot the intercept, then use the gradient in this case, gradient of three, one square to the right, three squares up, there's our second point, draw our line. 
All right, now this one here, same idea, our y-intercept, our c value is positive 5 this time. So we'll go across there. That's our uh, first point. Now this time our gradient is negative 2 on 3. Now remember for our gradient formula, that's the same as rise over run. So instead of going one square to the right, this time we're going to go three. Right? Remember our run is our horizontal distance that we're moving and our rise is our up and down distance. So because here in our denominator, our run is three, we'll go three squares right so from our intercept. One, two, three. And then our rise is negative two. So we're going to go down two squares. One, two. There's our second point. So three in our run, negative two in our rise. And then draw a line between those two points. And there's our equation. Y equals negative two thirds X plus five. So a little bit different with that fraction but it's the same sort of idea if we wanted to on the previous example where our gradient was three we could also just write that as three over one and use the same approach our run is one and our rise is three so it's the same idea it's just if the gradient is three we just know that our run is always going to be one because it's three over one all right so just to review our learning goal students um, you should be able to determine whether a point is on a line by substituting the point in and seeing if the equation is true or false. And then also sketch a straight line using the gradient intercept method.